Hello, welcome to our group project for MBA 520. Um, my name is Connor Patterson. That is Luis Weber, as you'll, you'll see him eventually. And behind the camera is Nicholas Allensworth, or how we call him, Red. Uh, today, we are doing our project on Domino's Pizza. And we're going to be sharing a shared value and initiative on Domino's Pizza. So, a little bit of background, Domino's started small with only one store in Yosemite, Michigan. Please don't ask me how to pronounce it once or again. In 1960, it was actually called Dominic's at first because it was purchased. It was purchased from Tom and James that they purchased for five hundred dollars. First CEO, current CEO, Thomas Stephen Monaghan was the first CEO to start the company. Now the current CEO now is Russell J. Wiener, Weiner, I don't, uh, I don't know. All right, so core values and productivity. Domino's operates more than 14,000 pizzas, restaurants in more than 85 countries and delivers more than 1.5 million pizzas a day. Delivery drivers drive more than 10 million miles a week to deliver pizzas. Th their values are do the right thing, put people first, create inspired solutions, champion our customers and grow and win together. When it comes to their shared value initiative, Domino's is very prideful when it comes to delivery. Uh, not only does it satisfy the society for delivery, but also satisfies the company. Um, when it comes to the driver's aspect, drivers get tips, which keeps drivers wanting to continue to work for the company. And it also maintains steady production because if Domino's do not have these de delivery drivers, then stores will eventually just get backed up and that causes a problem and people could be potentially be waiting two hours, three hours for their pizzas. And some people don't want to go out like after work, after five o'clock, and they don't want to go to the store. Like people like that's their downtime after work. So maybe they just want a delivery driver to come to their house and deliver their pizza for him. But Domino's also has a form of delivery with AI generated robots when delivering to local areas. One of the examples is at ECU. ECU does this in Greenville. Um, this is a perf another perfect example of shared value as customers do not have to waste time, but also saves time for the company. Also, electri electricity is cheaper than gas. Here's our shared value initiative. We thought for our shared value for initiatives, two things. One, we deliver, we, we create this, this gener generated app. We use AI to keep customers updated on the capacity status for each of the stores. So let's say that like there's a store that's in your area about like 10 miles away, which is in the delivery area for Domino's. It's completely full. Well, let's say that store is full you can go to another store that could not be potentially in your uh, delivery area and you can order from that store because maybe the capacity is less there. Now, I understand that delivery drivers don't do this. So what we plan to do is we decided to use drone delivery. So the reason why we wanted to use drone delivery is because it will be a lot easier. Um, it will not be overpacking traffic. Like some delivery drivers have to be in traffic. It takes longer. Um, and and it, it basically, drones go to a straight line. They just go from point A to point B, which is a lot easier. So, um, so I know that um, with our shared value initiative, it's a little tricky, uh, but we have come with all the scenarios we can come up with. And some of the scenarios that we have included are thunderstorms and dangerous weather. Um, honestly, um, some people may not even like drones. Like, for example, like me, like I live in the country and uh, my neighbor, my neighbor Curtis, like sees a drone hovering over his backyard. Probably Kurt's going to shoot it down. I'm not going to lie. Kurt's going to take his 243 or he's going to take his 12 gauge shotgun now and he's going to shoot it down. I mean, I wouldn't blame him because we, we like people, people are crazy now these days. Um, Flying too high, it could lose signal with the person controlling the drone, or it can cause air traffic control with actual jets who have people on it. And uh, a jet doesn't want to hit one of our drones. That's just, that. that's extremely dangerous. Um, it could crash into objects. Um, people who do not fly drones the right way could crash into trees, could crash into buildings, could crash into whatever they can crash into. 
Um, but we also have some solution for these scenarios. Um, so the first solution is that Domino's officials will keep updates on the weather. Depending on how dangerous the weather will be, we will shut down drones for a day. Instead of using the drones, we would just use the drone cars or delivery drivers for that day, which we will pay them more because delivery drivers may not work as much since we have drone delivery. But because, because drones is taking care of most of deliveries. We can start drones out in rural or suburban areas like downtown Raleigh or I would say Charlotte. And we can also put up cameras to see who we may sh see who shoots them down. We will start in suburban areas and rural areas because shooting of drones are less likely to happen in places like that in the country. For scenarios, for scenarios, for scenarios three and four, we will offer and provide training for the people who are going to control these drones. Um, like we would obviously pay them during the training, but with proper training, a good training, these people like would um, it would less likely to happen when they are control these drones because we have we hire good training, so we provide good training. I'm sorry. So um, I know this shared value initiative sounds crazy, and usually like with an actual shared value initiative like that, that it takes about six to seven months. Well, we only had eight weeks, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out small. Um, like I said in my previous slide before, we would like to start in urban or metropolitan areas, such as downtown Raleigh or Charlotte. Um, the reason for this is because with more populated areas it's, uh, that are close to people or close to each other, which makes it easier to advertise it. So like more people are going to see that the marketing and the advertising and more people are honestly going to like in some sort of way accept these drones delivery other than like people in the country which people are spaced out in the country. And it's also, there's a less risk for people to, to destroy drones. Like I said, that like that acceptance value is in there. So, um, so the best way to create this shared value. Um, so all three of us have come together and the best way to benefit Domino's in the community is that people who control these drones will be under a third party contractor with Domino's. Um, one of these examples, one, like one of these delivery companies that do this is Amazon. Um, as a previous Amazon delivery driver myself, um, I, um, we operated under a third party contract. So we didn't technically work for Amazon, we worked with Amazon, if that makes sense. So with Domino's and this third party contractor, it would be some, it would be, it would be the same thing. It can also, um, so we would create our own delivery business that works with Domino's in the areas with the range of 50 miles. This opens up the delivery orders as people can order from Domino's farther away and it'll still get to a customer's house at a reasonable time. This will also help Domino's as people order from Domino's more as they have the opportunity to use other stores that are farther away, henceforth they can use our app in order to do that. In case the closest stores from them are really busy. Okay, so this, now Luis is going to talk, and I will be. Yeah, thank you, Kana, for introducing our Shared Value Initiative. Um, now I'm going to dive deeper into the financial part. So each drone uh, we will use, or we're going to use, it costs about $1,000 to $3,000 a year. We will start out with three to four stores in downtown Raleigh as our starting um, area, as Connor already said, and we will have about, about 20 drones total to start with that will be in charge of these three to four stores. So probably four to like seven each store. We will hire 20 employees to control these drones. So one employee each to, con to control them and fly them. And our starting pay will be 12 to $13 per hour plus tips, which will be lower than the actual driver salary at this point. So possible cost drivers. Of course, there are many possible cost drivers to like switch um, to, to delivering drones. The first one we could think of was the maintenance. Of course, you have to maintain the drones so they keep flying and keep delivering, which will be expensive, I guess. Then the acquisition, like Connor already said, we will hire a contractor to, to get us these drones and lease them. Um, of course, you have to build uh, additional infrastructure for them, just like you can think of electric cars, to switch from um, actual motors to electricity motors was very expensive and it's a very big thing to deal with. Um, probably 
the switch to drones will not be that big, but still you have to think of charging stations and storage. The next one is possible regu uh, regulatory requirements. We were not able to find that much about it, but uh, we'll talk about it later a bit, but um, because you have to think about that because um, yeah, they're actually flying in the air and uh, they need some rules um, to do that. Then safety and insurance, of course, uh, there can many things can happen, like Connor said, they can get shoot down or fly into, into trees and some stuff like that. So you have to think about that. Um, then technology and software, of course, you have to be able to control them um, remote. So it's quite a challenge to do that technically. Then security, you have to make them safe against like hackers and stuff. Marketing and promotion, um, I think it's a big chance for us, for Domino's in general, um, to promote this and to make the next steps in the future. I think drone is a good thing to do that and to make the first step. Then testing and development. Uh, of course, um, it won't be that, that, that perfect at the beginning, but we were going to be better than that. So you have to, to test them and develop them further. And then scaling costs, but that is the thing. After we get started in the future, when it's positive, we can scale it up to, to more areas and that will be quite expensive as well. Yeah. So what are the advantages? Why are we gonna do that? What are we proposing it to you? First, efficiency and speed. Of course, drones are way more uh, efficient, as Connor already said. They can fly from one point to the other in a straight line. There's no traffic involved in it, like no crashes and stuff. Unfortunately, um, and yeah, the next thing is Domino's is visible in the market. We build ahead um, of our um, components, so that's a, that's a big thing in my opinion. Reduced costs. There are no rest breaks they need. Of course, the the, the controlling guys need rest breaks, but the drones will not. Um, lower wages and nearly no fuel because it's electricity um, driven. Then we have a better access to remote areas as well as Connor already said in the initiative. Um, it's probably not that, not that often the case that we will need it because like in today's society everything is near to each other. Um, then an environmental benefit because like electricity is more um, sustainable than fuel of course. With, uh, in regard to the current footprint of a film. Then we come to improve safety, less traffic, there will be less crashes. Um, yeah, it's the main thing. Then data collection, we, we, we can gain a lot, a lot, a lot more information about our customers, where they live, how, how much they're, they're um, ordering, um, how old they are, like stuff like that. We can learn a lot, a lot, a lot from our customers. Automatically, like, no driver will write notes, but a drone can easily like get the order details and like keep them. Um, yeah, so let's dive deep into figures. Um, there's a little comparison of um, drivers and drones, and here are the variables. So let's take a first look on salary. Um, the drone controllers will be cheaper than drivers, of course. Um, it's, I think it's an easier job. You can just like, after you train, you just sit there and control the drones. So you don't have that much requirements for the job. So of course we can pay them cheaper and less. Um, it will be a data of like 16 or like 11 to 20 in average 16%. We missed that here. Um, the next point is annual fuel and maintenance. Um, actual numbers for the living drivers are like five to 10 K annually. For drones 200 to 2000 annually um, the main thing is like electricity and the maintenance costs which we assumed average one th uh, of 1000 so there's a delta of like 80 to 96 percent less than with today's drivers the next part is insurance um actual insurance for like driving cars and the uh, and the uh, drivers are 30,000 to 4.2 k annually and we we looked the insurance up for drones and then we scaled it up to like all the delivering drones we, and we came up with 360 to 600 dollars annually which again is less like way less um than with drivers and we came up with like 86 to nearly 90 percent um delta in that 
Infrastructure. Of course, that is, that's the biggest point, like the, the biggest cost driver probably for drones because actually in today we don't need any additional infrastructure for our drivers. Of course, we need infrastructure for our drones. Um, we thought of 4.8 to 10.8 um, K cost annually. Um, the main part of that is charging stations for each of the drones and storage um, renting costs we came up with. So we have a minus of 100%. So everything, every cost is additional. So we have to keep that in mind and be aware of that, uh, especially. Next one, acquisition, of course. Um, today, the drivers use their own cars and uh, don't, we don't need any additional acquisition of cars at the moment. With drones, it's another case. We need one, two, three K, um, dollars a year to get new drones um, as i already said in the in the beginning statement we need dr drones we don't have any yet so we have to keep that in mind that they, again 100 percent we have to get involved in that next one regulatory costs we're not able to find any information about that but we have to keep that in mind in the future so we don't fall into traps uh, traps here and um, the last row is the sum Put it on, put it in all together. Um, we will be able to like get down to eleven to twenty percent in the delta compared to actual delivery drivers now, which in my opinion is a very good option to get more efficient, make the next steps in the future, and make something for our customers too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> what, like, if we're getting jiggles. Um, we, uh, went on this AI generator website and we thought what AI would thought that would, what the drones would look like. So here's some pictures, uh, of the drone delivery. Um, obviously this is not what we're thinking of. Uh, obviously they're going, the pizzas will be more protected than this. Than this. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, but that is it for our presentation. I hope you like it. And, um, thank you for watching our video. Thank you guys.